Yahweh Shawam Shawam. Let's say Kal Halam La Allah Now Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kakodash. Double honor to my elder apostle Great Millstone who we will and teach well. Shalom. It's Brother Quan from the Great Millstone Dallas Camp coming at you with another lesson out here. You know, in the, in the elements. You know, I want to be out here in the elements today. Kind of, it's kind of, kind of chilly out. You know, but it feels good, man. You know, beautiful day outside. You know, clear skies. So I said, man, I might as well just go out. Go out. You know, in a little nice little area that I be at close to home and do a little lesson, man. And you know, the main lesson, the main subject of the lesson is gonna be the mindset that Jake should be in in the times that we're in right now, man. You know, about that Revelations 12 and 12 of on how the devil is gonna come down having great wrath, man. You know, that's the time of Jacob's trouble, which is talked about in Amos 5, in Jeremiah 30, Zephaniah 1, you know? All right, that's, that's the time that we're coming into. And Jacob's trouble is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans trouble. A, a, a time period in the earth that's going to be bad for particularly you, you know. Which you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are indeed the true Hebrew Israelites, man. All right. The God of heaven and earth, the Heavenly Father, which his true name is Yahweh, and his son, which his true name is Yahweh Shai, they're for you, man. Those are your, that's your gods, man. The Heavenly Father and His Son, that's your power. All right? And they're not for no other nation. Though they created the other nations, that doesn't mean that they're for them. They're for you. These scriptures right here are for you, man. This book was, was made for you. All right? Through this book is your salvation, man. All right? And His men, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, all right, has set up men on the earth, his prophets, the men of the Lord, his saints. He has set them up on the earth in these latter days, in these latter days, like he did before time, in these in the past captivities that we were, that we were under and in. He has sent his prophets out again to tell you, hey, turn back unto the heavenly Father before he destroy you, man. All right, <clears throat> and this is the last captivity. Because Esau Edom, which is the self-proclaimed white people, are ruling are currently ruling the whole earth. And only two people out of the out of the whole Bible was only ever given, you know, the blessing of ruling the entire earth. And that was Esau and Jacob, man. And right now we're in, in the time of Esau's rulership. And the scriptures say the end of the world would be with Esau ruling. Alright, in the beginning. The starting point after the end of Esau's rulership, Jacob, which is also Israel, the nation as a whole, will be will be rising up after Esau's downfall, man. All right. So right now we're in the stages of the last days of the last days, where Yahweh Bashim Shai is finna sanction Esau Edom, which is the sword of the Heavenly Father. He finna sanction them, have them go out and throughout the earth and can do all mount, all matters of wickedness, man. All right? And he's going to use it through, the, through his blessing. You saw Edom's blessing was the sword. And he got that from his father Isaac, man. So you saw Edom is finna, you know, what you what, what they pe what people perceive as conspiracy theories, such as the New World Order, Illuminati, things like that, man. That's that's true, and that's written in the scriptures as well. All right, the heavenly Father is finna let Esau eat him roll on the whole world, man. All right, the scriptures talk about in, in Revelation third chapter that the hour of temptation shall come upon the whole world, man. Okay, that's Revelation three and ten. So the whole world, everybody on the earth, is gonna have an hour of temptation, man. So, it's only two ways on the opposite side of the fence of that hour of temptation, man. Either you're going to bow down to the image of the beast and take the mark of the beast, which is Esau Edom's rulership in that mark of the beast is that microchip, which taking that 
you're showing and you're telling the Heavenly Father that you want absolutely nothing to do with him or his ways. And you're showing that the, you're showing the Heavenly Father that Esau Edom is, is your God, man. All right. But on the right hand side of that fence, you have the ones that the Heavenly Father wants and will get, which is the remnant of the nation of Israel, man. All right. The one third. Those are the ones that will not take or bow down to the image of the beast, man. So what so what what side of that fence are you gonna be on? Alright? There's there's not too much time left in this grace period that our Lord Yahweh Shai has sacrificed for two thousand plus years ago, man. Right now we're at the end of the end of that grace period, alright? And once the once the elects uh is sealed, man. Then the destruction is going to come. All right. So let's start off in Sirach chapter 7 in verse, in verse 29. Fear the Lord with all thy soul and reverence his priest. All right. Fear the, fear the Lord with all thy soul, man. All right. And reverence his priest. Why, 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 why would you fear the Lord? Fear the Lord is the first step, all right, that you should take when you're coming into this truth, man. All right, because here at Great Millstone, from our, our, our apostles on down, from Apostle to Heart on down, through the elders, all right, we, we proclaim that we have the 100% truth according to the scriptures, man. All right, you, you, the first step, you know, to, to pleasing the Heavenly Father, hey, is, is taking this, taking these scriptures and applying it to your everyday life, man. You know, that's for you Israelites. These other nations don't matter, man. Now, we know that you can't apply everything in these scriptures because we're in captivity. We're not sovereign. All right. You know, we know that you can't keep 100% of the laws, but the ones that you can keep, keep them, man. Such as not eating pork, swint, shrimp, lobster. All right. Getting lineups. Things like that, those are things that you can stop doing in the earth to please the heavenly father. And what you're doing that is that's showing that's showing fear. Alright? It's is you you're telling the heavenly father that you fear him by doing those actions, man. Alright? That's repentance. Alright? Repentance is not just a word to be said, it's an action. Alright. And why should you reverence his priests? Because, because let me see let me get it real quick Amos chapter 3 in verse 7 I don't want to make this too long so Lord's will I can hop to the points fairly quickly you know Amos 3 in verse 7 surely the Lord Yahweh thy power will do nothing all right and I and we bring this out quite often because it, it proves that the, the, it proves the, the validity and the weight that the prophets hold throughout the earth, man. All right? It proves that, that what we're saying is true and that you should listen to what we're saying, man. It's not because we just, uh, we just know in any and everything. No, man. It's because the Heavenly Father through His Son has sucked with our minds through the angels to understand these things, man. Starting with our elder apostle Gray Millstone on down, man. All right. Which before them was was uh Abba Bivens, High Priest Ariya, uh King Masha, Elder Yaquad, man. Those those great men which are now in the spirit world, you know. Though that's that's how it starts off, man. The Lord uses men on the earth to tell other men what to do and how to follow the Heavenly Father's ways, man. The Lord how about Shim how shy is a great king and they're not gonna get off their throne to come sup with the whole world man no that's what the Heavenly Father created the whole nation of Israel for man the whole nation of Israel was supposed to walk in the law statutes and commandments of you how about Shim how shy and to show the whole world what it would be like if the Heavenly Father and his son was to walk on the earth man that's why when you how shy came he didn't sin man as when he came as himself that is all right. Amos 3 and 7 again. Surely the Lord, the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets. All right. 
or to his servants, the prophets. All right? What's the secrets of the Heavenly Father? These scrolls, man. Because why is that? Because these whole these people that, that try and preach this word, they they know that, that they know for a fact that they don't know what they're talking about, man. That they just they using the word to for, for, for money purposes, man. Your people like T.D. Jakes, Joe Olstein, or a past Pastor Pork Shop around the corner, man. They only use this word to gain to gain mammon, man. Alright? Their God is is money. Not the not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Alright? But the Heavenly Father has not sent those men, as Jeremiah 28th chapter says, man. And the Lord and Lord also said was in Ezekiel 3rd chapter that he would uh that those prophets, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. See if I can pull that real quick. Yep. It's like a little windy. Um, yep. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, have I have made thee a watchman. All right. A watchman is a seer or a prophet or a preacher. All right. Unto the house of Israel. It said unto the house of Israel. Did it say the did it, did it say the whole world? No. It said unto the house of Israel, which the which is the entire nation of Israel, man. All twelve tribes. All right. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. All right. The heavenly Father, through His men. All right. The heavenly Father through His Son, through the angels, would one day in the last days. Return this these this knowledge unto us, man. All right, which is written about in Revelations 11, and the, and uh, the Lord will return this knowledge unto us, and we will preach it out to the four corners of the world, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai told the disciples that in Matthew 24 chapter. Uh, all right, when this word, this gospel is preached throughout the ends of the earth, then shall the end come. All right, so right now we're in the time of that. This gospel has been preached throughout the whole corners of the earth via the internet. That's what it was created for. The internet was not created for you to, you know, do dog and cat videos on YouTube, man. That's that's not why the internet was created. But it was indeed created for this truth to be pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. Because the disciples did not accomplish that, what Yahweh Shah had said 2,000 plus years ago. They did not get to preach this word throughout the four corners of the earth. Because they all end up dying or getting executed, if you will, except John, uh, except John the Revelator. All right. And what did what did what did Yahweh shall tell Peter? In the regeneration shall you judge the twelve tribes of Israel, man, which in the, which is the reincarnation. Through through generations in the future, you're gonna come back and you're gonna prophesy against kings and nations, as it says in Revelations 10 and 11. All right. The prophets come back. Re, through their own, through their seed line, man, through their family seed line, and they come back and they preach this word once again, man. All right, that's what the Lord told his the disciples, which later on became apostles. Latter of uh, end of verse seventeen, and give them warning from me. Verse eighteen, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require that thine hand. All right? As it's uh, written in the scriptures, woe is me if I preach not the gospel, man. All right? Because we put our hand to the plow and we stop preaching this word. All right? That same wicked soul that we preach to that, that, that still did not li listen, Lord still gonna kill them, all right? But their blood is gonna be on our hands, man, if we don't preach the gospel. All right, we learn this word and we and, and we are able, we're apt to teach, and we don't teach the uh, the nation of Israel. Well, the Lord is justified in killing us as well because we know we knew better. Let's get um where was my next one gonna be? All right, let's get uh shit. All right, 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 slot. Lord, just put it back in my mind. 
Let's go to Isaiah real quick. You know, because the lesson is centered around the repentance and the mind frame you should be in right now in these latter days, man. You know, Esau Edom is showing you in these articles. He's putting it in your face. He's telling you what he wants to do. It's not a secret. These are not conspiracy theories anymore, man. The microchip, max mandatory vaccinations, 5G infrastructures. Let me see if I see one. Um, shit. Nope, I can't see one near me. But I, but it's, but it's at least about seven or eight of those in my area, man. It's just not visible, visible from where I'm standing at. 5G inf infrastructure. All that was set up <laughs> during the time of when Esau Edom planned this pandemic, man. And you put everybody in the house, and then by the time he let everybody come back outside, you see these new 5G towers everywhere, man. You know? Esau did that quick and silently, man. He did it under, under the radar, you know? But now Esau Edom is, is putting it in your face, all right? In these articles, they say, so-called the government will not mandate mandate everyone to vaccinate all right it's like you mac to get this maxine all right because you know we got to say maxine so esau edom won't won't you know strike our channel and uh it said the government won't uh mandate everyone to take this maxine but amazon will the banks will and more than likely your job will, man. So that vex that that Maxine could possibly be, be be put in front of you for wherever you work at, man. And it would behoove you not to take that Maxine. Cause we've we we have people that we know personally that know people that went to those testing trials for that Maxine and they did not come back out with their lives, man. Alright? So that day of trouble, of Jacob's trouble, is near. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you should be seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai 10 times harder, man. You should be looking for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to deliver you out of the coming days that we're in, man. All right? That we're coming into. Isaiah 55 in verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says the Lord, but we know the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, so we replace the Lord with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is Yahweh, the Father, Hashem, in the name Yahweh Shai, His Son, man. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, while He may be found. All right? And how is the Lord being found? Is the Lord coming off His throne to, to come down to the earth and, are you, and, to, and, and for you to look for Him? No. The Lord is being found through what? His priests, his prophets, all right? The men of the Lord via YouTube, via out there on the highways and byways, man, in the chief place of concourse, downtown in whatever city you live in. That's where you will find, you know, the men of the Lord at. Wisdom cried down the streets, not in, not in some big ass church house, you know, prophesying peace, all right? If, the, if, if that man is prophesying peace in the times that we're in, hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai did not send that man, bro. All right? And if it's a woman preaching and trying to prophesy to you, Yahweh Bashim Shai definitely ain't send that, send that female out to, to preach on you, man. Because that's not a lot for, for a woman, man. A woman is to be quiet in the churches. And that's a very simple job. But for women, especially in the day and age that we're in most women won't be in that type of mindset which is going to eventually lead to their destruction verse 6 again seek ye the lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near all right the lord that's talking about the grace period all right we're still able to upload our videos and go out to the highways and byways and preach this word so the grace period is still abounding all right Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way in the unrighteous man, his thoughts, putting off that old man that's talked about in 1 Corinthians, in Ephesians 1st chapter, man, and many other scriptures as well. 
all right putting off that old man is going is which is that old man which is, it should be fairly simple but i'm gonna go in it a little bit anyway that old man is that is how you used to be in the world man and when i say in the world that mean your mindset and your actions that's what i mean by in the world you know you used to do worldly things smoking weed selling selling dope you know messing around with other uh women's uh other men's wives and things like that that was a worldly actions and you should put those things off you know for the for the sake of your own salvation man all right this is a this is a labor of love right here all right that that the men of yahweh bashim how should go out and preach on y'all man because we risking our lives to do this verse 7 again let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto yahweh and we and he will have mercy upon him into our power for he will abundantly pardon meaning he's he's merciful man the heavenly father is looking for the nation of israel to repent but if you don't repent then the heavenly father is going to be justified in sending his son to destroy you there's two sides to this coin man either you want life or you want death the lord said in the in proverbs uh, 8 chapter the last verse they that hate me love death and how do you show you hate the heavenly father through his son you don't apply these scriptures man all right the right way because it's only one way verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith yahweh for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but water watereth the earth and make it bring forth in bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. All right. And what is the Heavenly Father proclaiming? What has He said what will happen in these last days? The Lord said that He would destroy the land of Babylon, man, and those that dwell therein. Okay. If they continue to be wicked of His people. So two thirds of the Lord's people will be destroyed throughout the whole four corners of the world north south east and east and west wherever a wicked israelite is of the two-thirds you will be destroyed by the way of whatever lot that the heavenly father got god's plan for you whether it be for, but before the seventh plague which is the nuclear destruction all right which is by a teeth of wild beast or a esau edom killing you or some some crazy you know some crazy person coming after you to kill you in those troubling times man that's what's coming upon the earth, man. Movies like 2012, Purge, Anarchy, you know, things like that. That's the type of things that's coming to this place. I don't know if people ever watched, um, if you ever watched that new Hellboy movie that came out, you seen those newly created creatures that came out and just was killing people, man. All right? I'm not saying that those creatures look like that. Who knows what they look like? You're going to see them, you know, because the scriptures talk about newly created creatures and teeth the wild beast and people not being able to reason with those beasts man all right and not being able to reason with those military men that's gonna come upon babylon man those u.n troops them gurkha troops man they don't know these people over here with them same u.n troops they know that the, that they got beef with america man because america has went forth and set up embassies throughout the whole world by the way of the force of the sword man so these uh, these un troops that's gonna come over here ain't gonna be no reasoning with them the spirit of the lord is gonna be on them to, to destroy people man all right the heavenly father controls both sides of the coin good and bad if you will all right let me see if it's more on this let me see No, that's it pretty much. It on that. Let me get uh, 
Zephaniah real quick. Yep. This is Zephaniah 1. Let me get some water. Zephaniah 1 and verse 13. Mm. No, verse 14. <clears throat> the great day of Yahweh is near. It is near and it hasteneth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man, shall cry there bitterly. Matter of fact, I'm going to make this two parts. Shall one. 